So today I've got a uh, cylinder head from a 1994 BMW 325iS. Uh, this is the same, sorry, essentially the same casting you would see on the 91 and the 92, the non-Vanos cars. Uh, and it's exactly the same as all M50TU, M52 non-TU, so just the single Vanos TU. Uh, the S52 and the S50B30 US. Um, I'm actually stripping this one out of all the valves to ship it, but I figured while I'm doing it, I'm about halfway done already, but I figured I'd show you guys at least um, a couple of tricks, because sometimes these are a little bit different than, um, I don't know, like Toyota cylinder heads for instance. So to start, um, you're going to need an overhead cam spring compressor, which looks probably a lot like that. The universal um, spring compressors you get from a lot of auto parts stores don't do the job here. So um, to start, I'm going to set down the camera here and uh, position it on there, and then I'll pick it up again. Okay, so I wouldn't stay without compressing it, so I just went ahead and did it. <clears throat> on the back, there are two adjustments on this thing. You want to make sure that you get it just right. You don't actually need much clearance on it. It needs probably about three quarters of an inch of movement. Um, this is the little cantilever that you shove down. It compresses everything. Make sure this is seated right on the valve. I've made the mistake of hitting a spark plug with that, and uh, it did some damage to the plug. Luckily, not to the head. So once it's compressed, hmm, it's kind of hard to see. So in there, you can see the valve spring and retainer are loose now. There are two keepers on that valve. Sorry, they're so hard to see. Um, I use a small magnet to get these things off. Um, there are a couple different ways to do it. You can even do it by hand, but it just takes a lot longer. So let me grab my magnet here. <clears throat> so you can see that's one of the keepers right there. Um, this is just the way I prefer. Like I said, there are other ways to do it. Once you've pulled that off, just set it down somewhere where you don't forget where it is. Uh, unless you're scrapping the head or scrapping all the uh, top end components, then you can just throw it away. They're really not worth much. So um, just do that for the second piece too. And then I'll start up again when I'm done that. Alright, so I've got the second keeper off now. Once I release the compression, compression tool, um, the spring and retainer are going to come out and the valve will be free. So I'll try to do that here without screwing too much up. So I've never done this one-handed before, so... So, there we have our spring and retainer. There, focused. Um, this is a little bit different than what you'll see in an M50TU. Or, sorry, uh, an M52, an S52 or an S50. They use a conical spring to deal with a little bit higher uh, rev force and a little bit bumpier cams. So when you see a cylindrical spring like this, this means a TU M50. If you see one like this, it's got a spring on the inside and the outside. That's a 1991 to 1992 non-Vanos car. Those had double valve springs. So if these are unique to this model. They're pretty much the most worthless of the bunch. Just gonna put that in the bag. And now you can just press on your valve. Out she comes. This head was actually in pretty good shape. A lot of times you'll see a lot of gunk on those little stem seals in there. But uh, another thing, when you're compressing the top with your spring compressor, if you put all your force into the compressor and it still won't come off, what I do is I take kind of a bigger deep socket, just put it right on here, and I give it two or three pretty hard taps with a hammer. Then your compression tool will just take it right off like a breeze. Um, that doesn't usually happen, it's not usually necessary, but this head I've had to do it four or five times. Alright, so now it's all stripped out, down to its stem seals. Well, can't turn it, but... Took the plugs out too. <clears throat> the main thing to check for in these things, <clears throat> if you're selling them to somebody, check the number three exhaust valve to water jacket. They like to crack. And if it's cracked, the head is pretty much just scrap aluminum at that point. So, yep. 
Lots of work, but it's actually not that bad. It's just tedious.